Hello, this is State Representative Dave Maloney. I'm here at the 100th anniversary celebration of the Pennsylvania Farm Show. And today with us, we have the uh, Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding, and uh, we're gonna ask him a couple questions. Welcome. Welcome to you, great to see you again. Great, great to be here. And, uh, and I know this is nothing really new for you. Uh, coming from the agricultural background and, and, uh, and being in this position before. But I do have a couple questions, um, some that I'm sure you might have been asked already, but maybe it'll be a little bit different, especially I like to keep it um, geographical to my area. And one of my questions would be that, how about a couple programs that we have educating through the Department of Ag, the public on where food comes from and how it makes its way to the shelves? Yeah, so you, you'll notice at this farm show, uh, two really important changes. One is the area we're in right now that's a farm to shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted to make sure that it was obvious to the all, you know, 500,000 people come through here, that there's actually a connection between production agriculture and consumption here in Pennsylvania, right? The other is, is across the complex that looks at the, the Know Your Farmer area, uh, really trying to introduce farm uh, families to, to agriculture, looking at hydroponics and, and aquaponics. Uh, really important changes, but they take it down to a sort of a, a really farm level uh, experience for a lot of the a lot of the visitors here. And so we have some grassroots um, uh, demonstrations here. I know in, in my district, I have some uh, young people from high schools that have done some of those experiments and done very well with them. Um, and we have, of course, we have some other challenges in different in different areas. Um, Speak a little bit about, I know it was right prior to you coming back, but speak a little bit about the PA preferred, if you would. I think it's pretty important for Pennsylvania farmers. Yeah, so it's nice uh, to come back um, and, and see how the PA preferred has grown. You know, we, we initiated that when I was with the department earlier, and we struggled for a while because, you know, it's so hard to get all the diversity of PA right. agriculture under a label, right? right. But I think we, we identified it with the PA preferred, right? right? It's Pennsylvania product and it's preferred. It's preferred by agriculture, it's preferred by consumers. So a very intentional word. You know, it's the keystone with the, you know, the right. check mark. Consumers can look at that and say that's Pennsylvania produced or processed product. Farmers can look at it uh, and say that, you know, that I, I contributed to that. Really important part of, uh, I think, the work that we're doing here at the department. And I, and I appreciate that because I think that is what's important to identify that. Now having said that, knowing that we have certain challenges with some of our diversity and, uh, and uh, produce, and being a number one uh, industry, not only for our county, but for the state, let's speak a little bit about a responsibility that the department has with invasive species, um, things that may harm our crops, or just in general that we didn't know, and you probably know where I'm going with this, knowing well, that we yeah. have the spotted lanternfly, and uh, I'd like you to speak on that just a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, you, uh, uh, you, you experienced sort of the front line. Uh, you, you're sort of ground zero for the spotted lanternfly. An invasive pest, first time in the country, uh, identified in your district, right? right. And, and you saw how disruptive it was, I mean, how challenging it was, how, uh, how much work it took to bring cooperative extension, the local governments, mm -hmm. your leadership, uh, and many others in to try to, to identify where the problem's coming from. Then how do you control this pest, right? right? It's, it's invasive for a reason. Uh, it's invasive both in, in, in the economy, but it's also just invasive in terms of, of, of how it's, it's sort of, uh, is in this case, I mean, sort of spreading around. So we spent a lot of time. Uh, it's one of those partnerships that we have um, with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, APHIS, to really try to control and eradicate this pest. But I really want to say thanks. I mean, you, you've been uh, pushing us at times to sort of look at, at, at the issues. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I think all of us were trying to sort of figure out it's here now, right? And the hopes that it would sort of be uh, a quick solve, not the case. Now what do you do to really prepare for the second year and, and new defense around it? So more work to do. And I appreciate that. I, I, you know, I think that that's one of the things about public servants and, and, and being aware of what's in your district and or what challenges we do have. And, and I always like to look at, you know, problem solving is let's put a plan in place, let's be aggressive, and let's get to the finish line. So um, I know there's a lot of monies involved. There was things that we were, that I was responsible for getting involved with, along with the department. And, uh, and I think that's really important to also know because there's a cost to everything. 
Right, there's a cost. What I appreciated though, was you understood that there was a, a role for you as a representative to help guide us with the local intelligence of the district, what was happening, the relationships, uh, and you know, like a lot of these uh, uh, invasive species, I mean, they, they, they take on a local life, right? right? And what do you do, I mean, how do you respond, how do you build the coalitions, really, Correct. that have got to go into those communities and really fight it? We've had it in other parts of, of the state, uh, I'm from Adams County. We had a problem some years ago with an invasive pest. It really takes a lot of energy and work, but it takes a partnership to get it done. It does. It does. Yeah. I appreciate that. I think, I think, again, I often like to refer to teamwork, yeah. and I think the teamwork is what's important, that we're efficient. We find out if we have a weak link, and then we fix that and we continue. So, again, I want to thank the Secretary for being here today, for taking a few questions. I know he has many more. Yeah. And, uh, but great to see you here. Enjoy the uh, 100th uh, anniversary, and I'm sure you're going to get a milkshake or two while you're here. We're, we're, we're just steps away from the food court, so thank you. Good to see <laughs> you. Thank you. Appreciate it.